guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekend prep video. If you're new, I am a full-time working mom. I have two kids and in these types of videos, I just like to share with you what I get done on the weekend to prepare for the upcoming work week. So it's later in the day. It's actually about 1.20 on Saturday and uh, I just got out of the shower. You did not miss anything this morning because all I did was get up at around 8.30 or 9 and then I cooked breakfast for Adam and Connor who had to go help his parents with something and then I laid down on the couch and took a nap. <laughs> I'm really, really trying to focus lately on my uh, sleep and weekends are the one time that I can really like catch up on my sleep from the week. I've been telling you guys I use, I've been using this new app on my phone called Rise and it basically tracks your sleep, you know, using your phone or your Fitbit. It calculates how much sleep you need, when your melatonin window is each night, and then it also will tell you what your sleep debt is. So going into this weekend, I had over eight hours of sleep debt, which means that I'm eight hours less on sleep than I should have been throughout the week. It's like a rolling seven day average. They want you to be, I guess, under five hours of uh, sleep debt. That's when you can like function your best. So I'm one of those people that will try to stay up late at night to get more things done. But then in the end, you know, the idea is that it makes you less productive because you're not sleeping. <laughs> as much so i slept um i just took a nap on the couch for about an hour and a half and then i uh, got up had some coffee i uh, made lunch for everybody and now we are gonna go to a movie so kira has a friend over this weekend and connor's been wanting to see the is it kong versus godzilla or godzilla versus kong <laughs> or whatever so we're gonna go see that it starts at two so we need to leave in a little bit um we're gonna go to that and then the rest of the weekend i just have some stuff i need to do around the house i need to do some cleaning in the kitchen i want to do some meal prep some planning laundry i have some new sheets that i want to get put on the bed um i'm hoping to be able to get to the store this weekend because we're starting to redo not redo but like spruce up our bedroom a little bit so there's a kid yelling like new artwork on the walls, furniture, that kind of stuff. So I'll take you along with me. We'll see what we can get done this weekend. I'm gonna finish getting ready right now. All right, so I just got done getting ready. I'm just wearing like a white t-shirt and this denim shirt jacket type thing <laughs> from Torrid and some leggings. Um, and then I don't have time to like do anything with my hair. So I just put it up into a bun and it can air dry. And um, I'm just wearing some plain gold earrings. So we're gonna go see a movie and eat popcorn, which is the best part. And I'll check back in with you guys later. Oh, and by the way, this is a necklace from, I forget where it's from. I'll remember and I'll link it down below. <laughs> All right, so we did go to the movie. It was very good. And when we got back, it was time to put my new sheets on the bed. I wanted to take a moment to thank Brooklinen for sponsoring this week's weekend prep video. If you're not familiar with Brooklinen, they are a direct to consumer brand and they deliver luxury bed, bath, and loungewear products right to your doorstep at an affordable price. They initially launched with several sheet styles and have expanded into other categories um, that include pillows, towels, robes, and lounge wear, but their bread and butter are their best selling sheet sets. When they reached out to ask to work with me on a video, I automatically said yes, because I knew that I wanted some great quality sheets for our bed. And this would be the push that I needed to start sprucing up our master bedroom. The thing that I love about Brooklinen is that they provide luxury sheets at an affordable price. You guys, we spend a third of our lives in our sheets. And so obviously we want that time to be comfortable. So they offer a luxurious product at an affordable price so you can be bougie on a budget. When you bundle, you can save 25% when you purchase their hardcore bundle. Their bundles actually allow you to mix and match your colors and patterns and their colors and styles are designed to go well together. So this gives you the option to style your bedroom the way that you want. So we have a king size bed and I got a core sheet set, some pillowcases, as well as a duvet cover. So I'm just going to go ahead and strip my bed and add the new sheets from Brooklinen. I don't know if you guys can relate <laughs> to this at all, but I always feel like the last part of my house that I ever like decorated and got spruced up and really put a lot of energy to has been my bedroom. And I don't know why that is. I just feel like as adults and as parents, it's like the last on the list to, you know, decorate and really put thought into, you know, obviously I prioritize my kids' rooms and my 
my living room and my kitchen and things above that. But one of the things that I wanted to do when we built this house and moved in about three and a half years ago was to really create a master bedroom that I wanted to spend time in. And so far I haven't made much progress on doing that, but this year I want to get it finished. And Adam and I have never actually had a real bedroom set. The furniture we have in our bedroom is actually hand-me-downs from his parents. Uh, we have uh, two dressers, a chest, and two nightstands that may be almost as old as I am. I'm actually not sure how old they are, but we definitely need new ones. And we have identified a set that we want, so I will definitely be ordering that this spring. We're going to be getting a dresser, a chest, and two nightstands, and maybe another piece we haven't decided yet. Our headboard is actually good, so we're going to go ahead and keep that because we have a king size sleep number bed that we really like. So my first priority was obviously the sheets and the duvet comforter from Brooklinen. And then I'm also going to get some lamps for the bedside tables this weekend. And I'm going to look for some artwork to hang above the bed as well. I'll definitely talk to you guys more about what I thought or what we thought about the sheets and the duvet comforter later in the video. But just as a teaser, I would recommend 110%. I loved these sheets. I loved the duvet cover. I loved everything about it. Brooklyn and sheets are super soft and cozy and they actually get softer every time you wash them, which is a huge bonus. They keep you cool and they're very smooth and comfortable to sleep in. If you guys are looking for new sheets or bedding or anything in that category, I would definitely recommend Brooklyn. They are buttery soft. They're super comfortable and and the best part is is that they kept us really cool throughout the night which you know is important if you're a hot sleeper so if you guys want to check out Brooklinen I have a special offer for my viewers you can click the link in the description box below and use the promo code Jen to save $20 on any purchase of $100 or more like I said I would definitely recommend these sheets without reservation so you can check out that link and use promo code Jen to save $20 on any purchase of $100 or more. Connor's trying out the new sheets. What did you say it felt like? It felt like a, I mean, I said it, it looks like a hotel bed and it actually feels like it a hotel bed. It feels like a hotel bed? The, the, mm -hmm. the covers are heavy. Oh, that one needs buttoned. Yeah. I'm looking forward to sleeping in this tonight. Why can't you sleep in it right now? I gotta cook dinner. So I thought I would share uh, a quick grocery haul with you guys. I ordered this from Imperfect. I have been getting them uh, usually about once every week. Sometimes I do once every two weeks, depends on what I need, but they had some things that I wanted to try on the site this week. And so I just placed kind of a smaller order. I did get some arugula. This has become a staple in my house. Um, I've had a lot of you ask me about my garden and how that's going. And I'm actually in the process of kind of cleaning it out right now. Um, as you can see, I just have a few plants left in there and I removed all the others because I did um, order some that I need to plant. I want to probably get that done this weekend. I got rosemary, thyme, sage, mint, oregano, cilantro, basil, and then watercress. I'm finding that I really like the garden more for herbs than I do greens. I still like it for greens. I have a few plants left on there, um, but what I really love it for is for herbs. I also got some green onions. I've actually been planting these in one of the pods in the garden and they grow really well. You can just snip them off and they grow right back, which is awesome. Um, I got some bacon. We'll probably do that for breakfast tomorrow. A couple pears. The kids have been liking these. Got one cucumber, some asparagus. I have not made my meal plan uh, so far for this coming week, so I'll need to do that this weekend. Um, I got some roasted and salted peanuts. Um, Adam likes to snack on these, and I also actually made pad thai. Well, I think it was last week and we didn't have any and so I knew I needed a refill of those. Uh, I got this Organic Valley cream, cream Cheese. This is really, really good if you can get your hands on this. I like it on the Dave's Killer Bagels. Um, they had some chips, so I just got a small bag of these. I am someone who always loves to have chips with my sandwiches when I eat sandwiches. Uh, and I frequently eat sandwiches for lunch during the week, like tuna salad or turkey sandwich, so I got those. I also got this lemon rice. Um, I've never seen this in the store before, but it's pre-cooked. You just heat it up. I thought that um, 
it would be something that the kids would like. Kira really liked rice, so I got that for a side. And then I got some cheese. They had the Tillamook sliced medium cheddar um, for like sandwiches, so I got that. And then they also had the shredded mozzarella, which I thought was pretty cool. I've never seen that on their site before, so I got that. And then some medium cheddar. I usually just um, cut this up for the kids' lunch boxes. And then I also got some meat. So I got two pounds of ground beef. We actually are out of ground beef. We purchase a, um, a cow, like either a quarter or a half a cow from a farmer that's local here. And we have gone through I think we've gone through all of the roasts, all of the ground beef, and we, I think we still have a couple of steaks left, so we're gonna be looking for um, another one soon. And then I also got some ground pork. I like to keep this in the freezer. There are several recipes that I like to make every once in a while that call for it. Um, so that is all I got. I do need to run to the store this evening and see what else I need for the kids' Easter baskets. And Adam needs a few things also. Okay, so here's what I ended up making for dinner. I made this uh, Mediterranean chicken green chef box that I had, but I also made some garlic bread on the side. And then I heated up some of that uh, rice that I got from Imperfect Foods. And that's what the chicken looked like. It has different veggies in it. And then the roasted Brussels sprouts turned out really good. Um, I put the pesto on them. I think I would do that. Happy Easter. It's about 6 a.m. on Sunday and I actually ended up going to bed super early last night. I went to bed at like 8.30 and just got up a little bit ago. So thank goodness catching up on some sleep. I can indeed confirm that the Brooklinen sheet and uh, duvet cover are fabulous. So highly recommend those. I felt like I was in a hotel. <laughs> So that was great. So I just got the kids Easter baskets together. So let me share with you uh, what I got them real quick. So for Connor, I got him the Uno attack game. He's been wanting that for a while. And then I got him this kinetic sand at Aldi. And then I tried to not get too much candy. Um, I think I did better than past years, but I still got some. So I got both of them a Pez dispenser, one of these Peeps pop things, um, a Reese's egg, some of these um, cottontails, the cheese balls, and then some uh, bubble tape gum or whatever. And then I got each of them one of these um, reusable bottles um, for their lunch boxes because I thought that would be like a good kind of like functional gift. Um, I got Connor a light up football that's down there. Kira got the same candy. Um, she got some um, makeup wipe and one of these um, I got her one of these hair towels that I use that works really well and some different pens. These are from Erin Condren and then this is like a pack of paper mate flare. So I'm gonna go set this stuff downstairs. All right, so I went downstairs and made some coffee. I got a new bag of coffee this week from Trade. I've been getting their coffee subscription. This one is from New York. I can't remember the brand it is, but it's really, really good. So anyway, I'm gonna fill up these eggs and go hide them outside real quick before the kids wake up. But well, Kira, Kira probably won't wake up until like 11, but, and I don't even know that she's interested in egg hunting anyway. She's kind of, I don't know. I feel like she's kind of getting too cool for that, but um, I'm hoping that I can have a good and productive day today because I feel like I didn't really have that productive of a day yesterday, being that we went and saw a movie and I took a nap, but it's like sometimes you just kind of catch up on your sleep. So uh, my plan today is to get some things done in the kitchen. So clean out the fridge, um, decide if I am gonna go to the store today or if I'm gonna gro order groceries or what I'm gonna do. I don't even know that I need that many things. I need to meal plan for the week. Um, I need to finish the rest of my like video content planning for the rest of April. I need to work on some stuff for my blog and my cookbook. And if I have time, I do wanna go to the store today and see if I can get some new lamps for our bedside tables in our bedroom. And then I think I'm going to have to order a piece of artwork for the wall above the bed. I was looking on my phone last night um, while I was in bed and I found a couple of things that I think I want, but I, I didn't have a tape measure. <laughs> I was gonna like get out of bed to measure things, so maybe I'll do that you today. hide too. eggs, just throw them out into the yard. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there's an egg. Oop. Oop. <laughs> Everybody's like, what? There's a worm. He needs to go back in the grass. 
Okay, so now it was time to get some dishes washed and I'm also going to scrub the grates on my grill because I was planning on grilling out tonight. So I kind of felt like Easter was kind of weird this year. Like Adam's parents are in the process of moving and so they didn't want to have a get together and I feel like not everyone is vaccinated yet and so we're kind of in this like odd in-between time where we're not sure if we can get together or not. So we kind of erred on the side of caution and we just decided to have Easter at home. I was thinking about doing like a traditional Easter dinner with like ham and everything like that um, but we had other stuff to do and so it was really nice out and I just decided that we would grill out on this evening so uh, I'm going to show you guys what we had later but right now I'm just sort of cleaning up the kitchen um, I am washing all of the hand wash dishes that I had to do which I had a ton because I just let them pile up throughout the week I was terrible this week I don't know I just didn't have the energy to really get anything done that I needed to some weeks I just have that where I feel like lazier than normal and you know what it's okay so I'm gonna use this super clean uh, foaming spray to spray down my grill grates and I let them sit for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes before I scrub them off um, I would say that this worked pretty well although I am gonna give you guys the caveat that these grill grates are pretty bad like if I was gonna do it correctly I probably should have let these sit for a good half hour and then maybe soaked them in hot water with some more degreasing solution. Um, I was able to get quite a bit of the, the gunk off, but we obviously did not clean this before winter last year. And now it's obviously just getting spring and it's like, oh, we need to clean our grill grates. So I'm just kind of scrubbing these down with some steel wool. I'll link that super clean product down below. I would definitely recommend it for any application like this. Hey guys, welcome to my car. So I was feeling a little bit like stressed out and I also have a headache. And so I took two Midol and I decided to give myself a timeout. So if you didn't know, uh, <laughs> I said this in a video before, but uh, whenever I have like a bad headache, I always take Midol because it has caffeine in it as well as Tylenol. It also has a diuretic in it as well, which I don't necessarily need. But to me, it is more helpful than anything for headaches. And I, I said this before, I don't typically get headaches. Like I've never been a person that really gets migraines or anything like that like that uh, but sometimes I get tension headaches or I don't know stress headaches just headaches from life I know my blood pressure is not high before <laughs> before someone comments that my blood pressure is always like 106 over 60 but anyway so I uh, decided to take myself to uh, Casey's and get a diet soda and then I went to the post office to mail some thank you notes back to all of you. And then I came to Starbucks and got a salted caramel cream cold brew, but I only get one pump of the caramel. It's really good. Not, it's just like just enough sweet, not super sweet. And I'm gonna go to Walmart. Uh, so I sat here in the Starbucks parking lot and made my uh, meal plan and the rest of my grocery list. This week was a struggle. Like sometimes I just cannot think of anything to make and I'm like, I have no idea what to do, no idea what to make, but here's what I came up with. So this morning I didn't show you guys, uh, but we had egg sandwiches. Well, when I say we, Adam and Connor had egg sandwiches for breakfast. So I just made like eggs ham and cheese on a, on a bread, on two slices of bread and just like threw it in a pan. Kind of like a grilled cheese, only it's got like egg and ham on it. And Connor's like, this is legit. I'm like, yeah, they're good. Uh, I ate, uh, or I drank coffee and then I also ate a Reese's egg. That was my breakfast, so that was fine. And then uh, for lunch, I made some hot dogs in the air fryer, fruit salad. And then tonight, I think we're gonna have dinner on the grill, super nice out. Uh, I have some ground beef, so I'm gonna make probably burgers and then I have some pork chops I'm probably gonna throw on there as well. Hopefully I can make some coleslaw, um, maybe some, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to make double egg. I have some broccoli to steam up and then I'll probably make baked potatoes too, so that's not too exciting. Uh, tomorrow I put down spaghetti. I ha still have some of that uh, jovial brown rice pasta in the pantry, that's really good and it, we don't even tell the difference between that and regular pasta. So I'll make that, maybe some whole wheat focaccia, we'll see, and then a salad. And then Tuesday, I have a recipe for what's called Aussie chicken. I guess it's a 
Outback Steakhouse recipe and it's in a cookbook that I haven't cooked anything out of yet. So it's like a, basically like a honey mustard chicken and then you put like bacon and mushrooms on top of it, which I won't eat the mushrooms, but Adam will. Oh, that's right, I gotta write that down, mushrooms. And then on the side, I'm gonna make some asparagus because I got that from Imperfect. Uh, I have some ground pork also and so I just went on Pinterest and looked for ground pork recipes and I found a recipe for these ground pork banh mi bowls and I've made these before. I believe I've used like shredded pork maybe. I can't remember but basically well if you know what like a banh mi sandwich is um, it's basically like I think it's like pork and then there's like pickled cucumber on there, carrots, jalapenos, sriracha mayo, blah blah blah. Basically all that in a bowl with rice instead of bread. So I make that and then I'll probably get some like frozen dumplings because um, the kids really like those and every time I make something like Asian inspired I do those on the side. They'll they'll probably eat the the bowls too. They well Kira will eat everything but the cucumber. And then on Thursday I have a recipe in one of my instant loss cookbooks for like a super easy like chicken and potatoes in the instant pot and so I thought that would be good to do. It seems like it's just like a one pot meal like you just steam everything together and then I need to figure out a vegetable for the side but I don't know I'll either make a salad or cook one out of the freezer or something so that's what I have on my uh, meal plan I'm sort of on the fence about this meal planner that I ordered this is the full-size one from Carrie L and I almost feel like it's a little bit big and this one is also different because it has like breakfast lunch dinner snacks and I usually don't plan our breakfast and lunches like we normally just kind of leftovers or like the same things over and over I mean like the kids you know take sandwiches for lunch and like breakfast we just eat whatever you know like we just eat whatever so I don't know if that that part's really helpful I kind of feel like it wastes a little bit of space so I probably won't buy this one again but I'll use it obviously for what it's intended for um but the other thing I was going to do this weekend along with our new sheets was I was going to go to the furniture store and order well I was going to place an order for the bedroom furniture that we want and then I wanted to look and see if they had some artwork for over the top of our bed and some lamps but unfortunately they're closed today and I didn't have time to do it yesterday after we got out of the movies so I think what I'm going to do is go to Menards and look for some lamps because they do have um a good selection there. I don't know if they have artwork or not. I've been looking at some uh, canvas prints on the Lindsay Letters website. Um, she actually, I kind of found out about her through the scrapbooking community because she used to do some designs for Studio Calico. Um, but she's got a site where she does like art prints and canvas prints and things like that. And I really like her stuff. So I was thinking about getting one of those. And if that's the case, then I'll have to order it. But I was hoping to have everything done for this weekend so I could show you guys all in one video but of course that didn't happen because I'm Hot Mess Express. So we're gonna go to Menards. I'm gonna see what I can find in there and then I'm gonna go to Walmart and just get the few uh, groceries I need and then head home and make dinner and I'm kind of just feeling like I have no energy to do any more strenuous chores tonight. Like I don't know. Holidays are always like, it's always a good, you know, it's like a fun time because kids have fun but then it's like the mom ends up doing everything <laughs> You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm 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 like playing into gender roles with all of this and I realize that, but like I don't know. Sometimes it's just like, can someone just do something for me? Would that work out ever? <laughs> Okay, but I do want your honest opinion about this. So, you know, every year I was like, what do you want for Mother's Day? What do you want for Mother's Day? And like, when the kids were little, like toddlers and babies and stuff, I'd be like, you know, can you just take them to your mom's house for the afternoon so I can like scrapbook all day? Um, and that was fun and everything. But then this year I'm like, you know what I really want is I just want to go to like a hotel by myself for a weekend and just like do whatever. Like order room service, lay in bed, watch Netflix all day, go shopping like all by myself I don't want anyone there so like I was asking my friends about that and I'm like do you think that's like in bad taste like oh hey happy mother's day like you're my children but I want to go be alone <laughs> Part of me is like, that's in bad taste. But then part of me is like, isn't Mother's Day about like getting a break? I don't know. You guys could let me know what you think about that. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I won't just do it for Mother's Day. Maybe I'll just do it. I just, I don't know. Go, like just leave Friday. Go check into a hotel. Not come back till Sunday. Find a hotel with like a spa where I can get like a massage and stuff. That'd be fantastic. I don't know. Okay, I think it sounds like a fabulous idea. I think we should all do it. Let's go. So they actually have a pretty good selection of lamps here. 
I'm just kind of trying to decide what I want. I don't know, I like this one, but I feel like this is too glam. Like, my bedroom's probably not gonna be glam. I kinda like this one also, and this one. Then they have shade as well you can pick from, which I seem to have a pretty decent selection of those two, so pick one out. Okay, so this is the one I'm gonna go with. And I chose these kind of taupe uh, shades because it matches with our fabric headboard. And these have a three-way switch on them um, for the bulb. So I need to find bulbs for that now. What do you think about this chocolate raspberry coffee? I seriously need like zero more coffee. But this sounds so good. The thing about Menards is that you can literally get anything here. Like you can buy groceries, you could buy a toilet. That reminds me I need toilet paper. You can buy lamps, you can buy pepperoncini. I mean, come on, who doesn't love this place? You ever just feel like not really putting up with Walmart? That's kind of how I felt today. So I'm like, well, I'll just come to Hy-Vee because I didn't really need like, you know, hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. And uh, I'm glad I came here because it's super slow. There's like no one here. All right, I just got back from the store and I've been soaking the tank uh, for my garden while I've been gone just with some dish soap and some baking soda. So I'm gonna scrub this out and fill it back up so I can get it put back together and then I'll make dinner. Okay, so I am always super thankful for my really large sink when it's time to scrub things out like this because I can actually fit it in the sink. That's one thing that I always recommend to people when they ask me, they're like, oh, you built a house and you designed your kitchen. What are some things that you would recommend? And one thing that I always recommend is that if you like to cook and you do dishes frequently, and you have to lar wash large pots and pans is to get a single basin sink rather than um, a double basin sink because it's just so much more <laughs> convenient for washing things like this. But I did get that scrubbed out and then I'm just gonna fill it up with cool water and put the tank back together. Okay, so I'll share with you guys what I got at the store and we are making burgers and pork chops for dinner. Adam's doing those out on the griddle and then I have baked potatoes in the oven and broccoli in the microwave. So that's what we're gonna have for dinner. So I did get some potatoes for uh, baked potatoes tonight and then maybe baked potatoes another night this week. I don't know, I make baked potatoes all the time. Super easy, everyone loves them. I decided to give these another try. These are the Simply Potatoes shredded hash browns that are in the refrigerated section. I feel like I tried these once many years ago and I felt like they were like fake tasting. So let me know if you have had these recently and you like them. I don't know, I just decided to try them on a whim when I saw them in the store. I also got some mushrooms. This is for the chicken bacon recipe thing that I'm gonna make. I got some cilantro for the banh mi bowls. I got some sugar snap peas uh, because I bought a bag of these last week and Connor really liked them and I was gonna put them in the kids lunches this week. I got a cucumber and some shredded carrots both for those bowls as well. I did grab some tomatoes just for sandwiches and then uh, as backup I might put BLTs on the menu in case I don't feel like cooking <laughs> one night. I got these baby yellow potatoes for the chicken and a potato instant pot recipe that I'm planning on making some bananas because we're all out of those. I want to do like copycat olive garden salad one night for dinner and to do that you need just the plain old uh, garden salad mix so I grabbed that. I got some strawberries. These are super expensive at Hy-Vee but we're gonna have these tonight with some angel food cake. I also got some half and half for my coffee this week, some butter and then someone told me about these sweet Lauren's gluten-free uh, clean ingredient chocolate chip cookies and I saw them at Hy-Vee and I thought we would try them. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make them tonight but maybe some night this week. I forget who told me about those um, but I was surprised to see them here because we hardly ever get cool stuff. I got some of this Greek Crunch Light and Fit. I've been buying these instead of the Flip. Uh, one s'mores and one strawberry cheesecake. I got two pounds of deli meat for sandwiches um, and wraps this week. One pound of the honey turkey and one one pound of the double smoked ham, both the Deluso brand. I got some uh, yogurt, just some plain yogurt for me or Connor, whoever wants it. This one is a Siggy's uh, whole milk vanilla yogurt that's really good. This one is the raspberry chocolate light and fit. That one's good too. And then they had the Faye total um, fruit mix ones on sale for a dollar. So I got one, or I'm sorry, I got two cherry. Um, I grabbed some paprika because I was out of that. A dozen pasture raised brown eggs. 
things. And then I saw these actually at Menards randomly and I decided I would get them for Connor. He really likes Hidden Valley Ranch. And I thought we could put these in his lunch with some like uh, veggie dippers. And I thought that would just be a fun thing for him to have in there. These were actually a freebie from hy -Vee. I got them free with my IV plus whatever perks card for this month. And then I also got some of the 25% less sugar Quaker Chewy Granola Bars. The kids take those for their snack at school. Uh, these were actually on sale for $5 at Menards, the Go-Go Squeeze Big Packs. These are the applesauce and these have no added sugar. So I got those for the kids. I got some wheat um, hamburger buns for our burgers and pork chops tonight. I decided to get some more rye bread. I only ever buy this at St. Patrick's Day. And since I had the lunch meat this week, I thought that, you know, ham or turkey sandwiches on rye would be good for quick lunches so I got that um, I got some of these card balance mission flour tortillas I have it in my head that I'm going to make some copycat Taco Bell chicken quesadillas you can find the um, that quesadilla sauce that they use online like a copycat of it so I might try to make that if I do I'll film it um, I got some angel food cake for us to have for our Easter dessert tonight. And then they had this at Menards. I almost didn't get it, but I thought, oh, this would be fun maybe to do um, next weekend. This is the Auntie Annie's pretzel baking kit. I don't know, I just thought it looked like something fun to do. Bake soft pretzels. Uh, Adam wanted some absinthe for his bar downstairs, so uh, he got this. I don't even know what this tastes like. All I know is that it's like neon green. I think you like pour it over a sugar cube. I don't know, you make some kind of a drink with it. Uh, I got these at Menards. These were just randomly there um, as snacks for the kids to throw on their bag or lunches this week. Okay, I got this CLR garbage disposal cleaner. The only place I can find this is at Menards and I really, really like the scent of it. So I got another bag of those. Um, I ended up grabbing that whole grill and sadly enough, it won't turn on. So I don't know if it's broken or what. That grill is probably six or seven years old. So I don't know if we just need to get a new one or what. But anyway, I thought I needed some more stainless steel um, scrubber. So I got those. I got the light bulb for the lamps that I got from from Menard, and then I got these mini wontons for a side for the bon me bowl, bon me bowls for this week. So I'm gonna get this stuff put away when we eat dinner. So I totally did not show you guys any of our plates, but we did eat dinner. Looks like we got one burger left, so I'll put that in the fridge. Um, we got a little bit of broccoli left. We ate all of the potatoes. It was delicious. And Connor got the um, Uno attack game for Easter. So we just went downstairs and played two games of that. It's almost eight o'clock now. The kids are going to go take showers and we'll probably have some cake with strawberries. Oh, Murphy. I was also very excited to get all of this cleaned up. So basically I put the plants back in here that are still growing. So I have some basil. This is actually a uh, green pepper plant. You can see I have some peppers on there and that one down there is a jalapeno. And then I planted arugula, thyme, parsley, dill, um, basil, mint, cilantro, lemongrass, watercress, some more basil, romaine lettuce, oregano, tarragon, rosemary, butter crunch, and sage. So we'll see. Usually it takes about four weeks well three to four weeks for them to start sprouting and stuff so i cleaned out the tank also so filled with fresh water and everything so I was glad I got that done this weekend for sure. Okay, so for dessert tonight, I was going to take that angel food cake that I got earlier from Hy-Vee and then um, pair it with some strawberries and some whipped cream. So super simple dessert. Uh, and I would say it's probably, I would say angel food cake and berries is maybe a little bit healthier than some of the higher sugar things that you could eat. So I'm slicing up some strawberries and I toss them with some stevia and let those sit for a little bit. And then I'm putting some cake on there along with the strawberries and some whipped cream. So after dessert, I decided to put my lamps together. So these are the ones that I got from Menards and I really, really like them. Um, you guys will see in a little bit kind of how everything turned out. They are a bit large. And so when we do end up getting the new end tables that we're getting or nightstands, I guess, I think they'll fit on there a lot better. The nightstands that we have are quite old and they're a little bit small. And I'm looking forward to actually having nightstands 
ones that have like drawers in them because ours just have such limited storage right now. So these uh, worked out really well. I got the three-way bulbs and I was glad I did that. I just think that having the three-way bulbs, especially in a bedroom, is nice because there are times when you want just like a little bit of dim light and then there are times when you want a little bit brighter light, like if you're going to read or something. But these were super easy, obviously, to assemble. Okay, so I put the two lamps up here. I really like how it looks. Uh, we don't really, quote, need these because we have can lights up there. You know, we have like a tray ceiling, but I really like how it kind of gives it like a warmer look in here. It's it's really not picking it up on the camera, so I apologize for that. But um, my plan is to get some artwork for above the bed. And then I think I might get some drapes to go over the blinds. I think that'll just give it a little bit, I don't know, more finished look. Um, but yeah, I think I really like how it turned out. Very like cozy and everything. So we're on our way to a grown up bedroom. What do you think about that? And I still get asked a lot what this color is in here. I'm not sure if I still 100% like it, but it's Poised Taupe by Sherwin-Williams. All right, guys, so it is 10 o'clock and I think I'm going to leave you here for the night. Uh, I got as many things done as I possibly could <laughs> this weekend, but I'm really happy with obviously how my bedroom is evolving. So stay tuned for the finished product on that. But uh, I'm gonna go downstairs right now and maybe have some popcorn. I'm not sure. I sometimes like to have popcorn for a bedtime snack, but thank you guys so much for spending the weekend with me. Don't forget to check out Brooklinen. You guys are gonna want those sheets. They are fabulous. I cannot wait to sleep on them again tonight. It was like sleeping in a hotel. It just like kept me cool. Love it. Love it. Love it. You guys can get $20 off any purchase of $100 or more using the link in my description box below and promo code Jen. Thanks so much for your support and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.